Are you a 65-year-old patient that has been suffering with pain in their hips, back, and sciatica for over five years? Travel the world looking for solutions and have found nothing that would help you. What if I told you all that physical therapy, all those injections, all that medication, all the work you've done is for naught? And I can show you relief in as little as two weeks. Hey, Dr. Thayer here. I'm with Angelita. Yeah. She and her children have come from the Philippines to come get treated by me. Uh, she's been looking for a relief for about five years now because she uh, had a really ba a bad case of meningitis way back when, and she'll tell you how that all sort of happened. But ever since then, she's been dealing with pain in her hips and her back and sciatica. And uh, she even uses a cane to help kind of stabilize her. Doesn't need it all the time, but she's been hurting. She doesn't like waking up in the morning. She has a really high pain tolerance. Uh, her, her spine is really messed up. Um, we'll show you that on x-rays in a little bit, but um, she's here to get better. Again, come a long ways. I'm gonna show you guys get how she gets better here. And she hasn't tried any chiropractic in 30 years. Yeah. 30 years, okay. So Angelita, uh, tell us why you're here. Um, this started last uh, I'm here because my my sons had are going to have an IVF, so I just went with him with the, with them here. So my my pain started when I had a meningioma 2013, and instead of having be, been cut open cut, I I chose the gaba knife. It is a radiation. We're in the. Can we, let, me, let me just get the uh, translation here. Okay. She had a tumor in her brain. Okay. And instead, of, instead of cutting the tumor open, they used yeah. a gamma knife, which is high density, high, yeah. high penetration radiation. Yeah. <laughs> so after that, after six months, I uh, we have an X-ray of the brain. So I had an aseptic uh, meningitis. So what the doctor did was. Uh, um, with me with uh, steroids. Four months of steroids. Four months steroids. Uh, that took off uh, after, so I I was uh, fat. I became I uh, had an increase of thirty pounds. So I I move very 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 little. That's why some of my muscles were all atrophied. And after that, um, after after my steroids, it took uh, it took me six months to shed off all my fats and then. I lose 30 pounds again, but then when I when I found out I had a pain on my back, when I had a long walk, um, I went to a pain doctor and he told me to have an MRI. After that, I uh, he um, I went to get the re result and I saw it's an AVN, which is an avascular necrosis of both hips. So I went to which she doesn't have. <laughs> really. Yeah, I just look at the so, x-rays. They're arthritic for sure, but it's not avascular necrosis. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. So I went to... I'll show you guys. I went to... Um, I went to a doctor, several doctors, I think five, and they suggested for a hip replacement. But then I, to I told the doctor... But then I was using, uh, using our walker already on that time. So, so not to damage my femur. Or my... Femoral upper, head. Yeah, gotcha. femur head. So after that, um, I went to a doctor who said that he's gonna do uh, one hip replacement and the other one just uh, uh, inject on uh, bone, bone uh, minerals. So I went to that doctor instead of other doctors because the other one- But you didn't do surgery. No, no, she no. She said no to surgery, so let's no. move on. Yeah. So over the years, she has seeked out many different treatments yeah. and she's turned down surgery, good for her. She's had injections in her hips too. Yeah. Injections. To she had stem cell stem injections cells. in 2015. Yeah, 2015. Uh, tell her about this. Tell us about the Colorado. You go to therapy for co in Colorado yeah. three I went times. To, yeah, I went to Colorado four times. Oh, four times. Uh, two times, um, 2016, one 2016, and twice 2017, and once again last year, uh, 2018, uh, October of 2018. And what did the secret treatment you get out there? I had a PRP, which is a, a, a mixture of lyosate and mesenchymal cells. They took blood from me and then they injected in my hips and, and on my knees. So obviously she thinks it worked. It helped when you were out there, right? It helps a little bit. A little bit, gotcha. So it, it's a long term. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, so um, <laughs> now tell us, you already went to Australia. 
What yeah. did you go to Australia for? The, the latest, uh, last two months ago, July, we went to Australia and then um, uh, the the one that gave us a service uh, saw me I had a walker with me because uh, if we are have a, gonna have a long walk, I all usually brought a walker with me if we, we go for uh, for out of town, out of the country. So the um, the, um, the one selling the Asea Redox, he suggested that we drink the um, the liquid. Red Ox. I never heard it Red before. Ox. Red Ox. Yeah. So, anyways, how'd that help? Uh, a little bit. Again, okay, nothing. Yeah. So, uh, anything else you've done? No more. I I've been uh, go going for acupuncture, but then. Oh, I didn't know about that. Yeah. But no uh, chiropractic. So no, no, and no, no. Uh, she actually uh, swears off medication, so she's on uh, yeah. lots of supplements, but she's not taking any medication. No, 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 I don't gotcha. take anything. But she, her hips are messed up, so I'm going to show you her range of motion in, in real time, so you guys always uh -huh. see the flexion, distraction, uh, flexion, extension, all those things. But her hips hurt mostly when she's on the table, so I'll show you that before we get adjusted. Before we get her adjusted. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you want to add? I think that's all. Okay, so her pain is sciatica, uh, knee pain, trap pain. She tell us about your sleep. Uh, I have also insomnia. And then um, my uh, my eyes are also dry most of the time. Okay, any pain in your back there, ma'am? No. Got you stand up. Come back like this. Pain there at all? Good. Put your arms down. Look at the floor. Pain there. Yeah. Look at the ceiling. Pain there. Good. Now spread your feet. You're gonna squat to the ground. I'm gonna stand behind you because she has really bad balance. Let's do as low as you can. Get to the sun. Okay. Any pain in your knees, your ankles, your back? No. No, but I can't balance it. You can't balance it, right? <sighs> and so you said, is there no pain in your knees this time? No pain? Uh, not so. Okay, so let's do one more thing. Let's come over here. Let's sheet. You stand this way, stand sideways. You stand sideways, and you go down as low as you can now. Because you'll see the pain difference here. Yeah, there's pain. And where's the pain? Yeah. Here. On a scale of one to ten, what is that? Uh, it's like four. Like a four. Go and stand up. Does it look like a four, guys? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we'll look, you know. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna lift your legs that we did earlier in the room on your exam, okay? And so let me have this. Can you see it? Hang on. Good. So I'm gonna bring this up here. And how much pain's in your hip? How much pain's there? Uh, eight. Eight, gotcha. I'm gonna cross your leg like this. How about that? Seven. Seven, okay, let's check this side. How that one? Oh, that's the toots. What, no, what number? Nine. Nine, okay, cross your leg. How about that one? Yeah, um, eight. Okay. Yeah, her x-rays are so messed up, we're actually going to show you. Woo! We have an 11 millimeter right imbalance and 24 degrees scoliosis. We have short right leg, 12 degrees scoliosis, pretty good one. Mid neck reversal with arthritis, pretty good, and a squished atlas. Here we have antalgia position with constipation. Check that out. Ouch. So tell us what that felt like. My shoulder became lighter. Oh, okay, okay, became lighter. It, yeah. Was the uh, adjustment painful at all? Not so. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're raising Angelita up nice and slow. This is her first treatment ever with a chiropractor. We're reminding her not to twist and turn or she will undo my work. And then we're gonna to listen to see how she's doing. Let's listen into her first impression. I can't wait to hear. Shoulder became lighter. Lighter? Yeah. Okay. Time to recalibrate that spine. Sending this girl down the hall. Walking will spread out the adjustment from the neck through the entire body. Let's see how she's doing. When I, when I woke up, when I stood up, there's no pain. And tell us about how, you got, we couldn't we couldn't capture this on camera, but she told me in the exam that that's when she has most of her pain. Yeah, when I uh, lay down and then when I woke up, usually there's a pain at least uh, one or two steps before it disappears. And so that was different. Yeah. How was that? While different? I, a while ago, there's no pain. Kind of neat, right? Yeah. So you feel a little different. Yeah. Good. Anything else you want to share? Um. Right now, no. Okay. I'm just excited. <laughs> Excited? Good, good. <laughs> that's what? that's her excited face. Okay, let's take a look at uh, how you feel. Go ahead and bend up, touch toes, please. Again, these all have no pain. I just want to know your difference. Okay, no. Okay, no pain. No. Was that different? You guys saw that was different, right? She bent over way more, right? Go back. Why do I point that out? Because range of motion is very important. Oh, okay. 
What do you mean, okay? Yeah. Is that feeling different? Yeah, it's, uh, it's more. I can. <laughs> I more can flexible, do it right? more flexible. Yeah. You're like a 20 year old, huh? <laughs> okay. Look down the floor, yeah. please. Look at the floor, your neck. Okay, look at the ceiling. Okay. Now, the big one here, let's do the squat. Spread yeah, the squat. Bit. Oh, still, I can't balance. Was that any different? Yeah. You tell us. It looks. <sighs> she looks like she's struggling, guys. But this is going to be the real test right here, this one. Okay. That was a four or five before. What does that mean? Uh, there's no pain, but I'm hard up. Again, getting... but there was a four or five minute ago. Yeah. What is that now? Any no, pain? there's no pain. Do it again so the camera can... So you guys at home know what's going on. Oh. I'm just hard. Absolutely. But I mean, but you is had pain no before. Pain? No yeah. pain. So, uh, as you can see, improvement. Um, let's try one more thing. I have no idea how this is going to work because I never did this before. But go ahead and lay on your back real quick. Guys, okay. this is all new to me, so um, I haven't done this before. But I'm kind of curious how it is. She was about an eight on the left and a nine on the yeah. right. Okay, let's bring it up. How's that? That was an eight a minute ago. What is that now? Around seven. So a little bit less? Yeah. Okay, cross your leg. How's that? Around five. So it's come down a little bit, huh? Yeah. Okay, how about this one? This was a nine. Still nine? Still eight. Eight, so a little bit less. Cross your leg. A little bit. How's that? Around seven. So is that truly a little bit less, or are you just telling that for the it's camera? A, no. It's a little bit less. Good. Let's have a sit up, please. Good. Okay, so sit up. Okay, so um, that's her story so far. Go ahead and stand up for me one more time. Oh. And say goodbye. So we're going to do more videos on her, so you, that's the first day, and I want to show you what's going on. See you guys next time. Okay.